Hello everyone, let's take a quick look at the Meowno AU-100R. It is a rechargeable condenser lavalier mic and has a whopping 90 hour battery life. Let's jump in and see what we find in the box. First off, a nice bag. And then we have our shirt clip, or wherever you want to clip it. We have just one windscreen and then a big old quarter inch adapter. Of course, our teeny mic and then the whopping battery. Next up, a very short recharging cord, charger not included, and then the instructions. The battery does come with a clip, well, more like a belt hook, but trust me, you will be glad they included it. And on the bottom, the nifty charging port. Before putting on the windscreen, make sure to attach the shirt clip. Otherwise, you will just waste time taking it on and off. Then slide the windscreen on and you're ready to go. Turn on the mic and the light glows green if the battery is above 20% or red if below 20%, but I haven't seen red yet. Okay, so now I want to do a quick test with using my Samsung Galaxy S10e to let you see what it sounds like recording on a phone. Right now, I have the slider set to off because they say in the instructions that you can use a cell phone and it will be powered by the cell phone. So once I switch over to the DSLR, that's when I'm going to go ahead and um, flip the switch to on. So this audio is not edited and it's straight from my phone. Um, this phone has okay um, quality for audio, not the best. So yours may differ. Now let's go over and see what it sounds like using my DSLR camera. So now let me do a test with it hooked into my DSLR. The cord that I'm using to the camera, it comes with a 20 foot long cord, which is great for um, things like this. It does get a little cumbersome when you have 20 feet of cord that you have to wind up and stick in your pocket. Let me go ahead and add some quick background noise because this is an omnidirectional mic. So if you're sitting in a cafe and you wanna use this mic, maybe you're doing an interview with somebody, you're gonna be picking up that noise. So with all the cafe noises going on, this is what it would sound like. I don't think it's horrible. I can still hear myself pretty well, but I'll let you decide on that. Okay, so to wrap this up, I think this is a pretty decent mic for just about 25 bucks. Not a bad range, but I will have to say that the way it's sounding on my phone and on my camera is going to sound different for you based on your phone settings, your camera settings, even your PC settings. Um, the other night, I actually opened this up when I got it and I used it for gaming on my PC and it was great for party chat even. Now on the PC, you will um, flip the switch to own, so you're using that rechargeable battery. But for 90 hours on the battery, it, I have not got to the red light yet. So I think that you're gonna enjoy this microphone. The quality is not too bad. Right now, I'm using video on my DSLR and I'm actually recording to my phone as a WAV file. So you're going to hear a little bit of difference there from the other two tests. The first test, I was recording audio and video on my phone. The second test, I was recording audio and video on my DSLR. And right now, I'm recording video on my DSLR, and I'm going to sync up the audio from my phone. If I can get me a nice um, pocket recorder one day, I will. But right now, this seems to be working pretty well. So all in all, I think this mic is pretty good. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And um, I do try to look at all the comments and get back to you, especially I don't have too many subscribers, so it's easy for me to read all my comments. Anyways, y'all have a great day.